What's up guys? So in today's video, we're gonna take a little adventure around Spokane where I live. And uh, I kind of wanted to go see if there's any other stores around Spokane, like retail shops, where you can maybe try to scout some like used PC parts or something like that. So we're gonna kind of go on like a PC part hunt and see what we can turn up. Okay guys, so here we are. And yeah, you can see it's called this recycling junk store. So it's kind of like a thrift store, I think, or something weird like that. But they said they have PCs in there. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out. Uh, I may record in there if they are okay with it. If not, I may just do it after I maybe get something or maybe when I cut out. I'll let you know. A few moments later. All right guys, so we're back in the Subaru. And uh, yeah, here's all our haul right here. I could have honestly got more but uh, I honestly felt like this was probably the best idea for us. So this is a Dell Vostro or Vostro, whatever. Still got a DVD drive, hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's got a third gen i5 in it, uh, Windows 7 already on it. So uh, I can obviously update that real quick and get Windows 10 on it. But yeah, pretty dirty. We might have to clean this thing up real quick, um, but it's got that third gen i5 in it i think it's only got four gigs of ram so we're definitely gonna have to upgrade that and uh no graphics card no nothing uh but i got it really cheap uh so uh i think i'm gonna maybe take this and uh do something with this and make some kind of budget gaming machine out of it i'm gonna show you guys how cheap you gotta actually do this if you guys are looking to do it yourself so let's get back to the office and uh let's clean it up okay so now that we're back at the studio guys let's go ahead and kind of go through what we got on our little tech haul here today so the main piece that we got is this Dell Vostro. Um, I'm not really 100% sure of the model. I may have to check, uh, but it has a third gen Core i5 in there. I think it's a 3450 or 3470. Uh, it comes with Windows 7 already on it. Um, there's no hard drive in here actually, uh, but don't worry, I have a fix for that. Um, but it already has a, it has one of those extra keys on here. So hopefully, we can just use that and uh, upgrade to Windows 10 because you can do that. But if not, we'll go ahead and uh, you know go over to our favorite um, supplier of CD keys, um, URCD key. And funny enough, they're actually the sponsor of today's video. So let's hear from them real quick and then we'll get back to it. URCD key has discounted codes for games and software that are a fraction of what you would pay if you purchased them from a retail store. More specifically, they have great prices on their Microsoft Office 2016 bundle that comes with a Windows 10 license as well. If that's not enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive 20% off the already discounted price. Just type in your product you're looking for, add it to the cart, view your cart, head to the checkout, type in my promo code, once again, RAV20, and see the sweet savings appear. Check the links in the video description to learn more. So with the actual box, I was able to go ahead and secure another stick of a DDR3 RAM. Uh, this is four gigs right here because there's already four gigs inside the machine. So we're gonna have a total of eight finally, that's good. Uh, and then I was able to get myself a very basic graphics card for it because uh, right now it's just gonna be using the integrated graphics on that i5. And uh, I already know on top of my head that it's not gonna be able to do much with that. Um, but maybe adding this, we might be able to do a little something with it. Uh, I'm not very hopeful for it at all because it only has one gig of DDR, uh, GDDR3 um, RAM on it. But uh, hey, you know what? They were selling a GT710 as well that's actually more expensive than this. And uh, if you check the benchmarks, this is actually a better card by, by like 20%. Um, so yeah, always do your research, guys. So yeah, this one uh, is great. It actually has an HDMI port, so we'll be able to use it. Um, so yeah, it'd be kind of fun to see how well this thing can even do. Um, so that's why I picked it up. It's very cheap, obviously. You see it's like 15 bucks. So did not really mind picking it up. So hopefully it works. Hopefully all this stuff works. It should. Um, it's all tested, so it should work. Um, and yeah, so we got that. And then uh, yeah, of course this box. It's pretty cool, guys. It's it's pretty clean. Uh, it, it could use a little bit of loving, which I you know I'll clean it up and everything. Um, but yeah, it's got you know it's got actually got a freaking card reader on the front of it. It's got two USBs right here. And if we check the back right here, the back I/O is actually for a system of this. I mean, it's not that old to be totally honest, you guys. Uh, it's uh, it's still got some great I/O right here. Look at that. It's got four USB threes on it, which is nuts. It's got two USB twos. You know your usual uh, what do you call it? your internet uh, jack, and it's got an HDMI right there just, just to put your um, video out on. And it's your basic uh, audio, nothing crazy. 
And then it does have uh, the only problem with this with upgrading to a better graphics card is this is only a 300 watt power supply, I believe. So we will be limited by power and that's kind of what happens with systems like this. They, uh, they normally have some kind of power limitations like that. So we'll kind of have to be cognizant of that and figure that out. Um, and if we're gonna upgrade to anything, you know, any further, we're gonna have to take that into consideration and figure that out. But for right now, we should be good. All right, so in here, here we go. We got our, that's our Core i5 right there. You know, stock Intel cooler. Uh, you know, the usual thing that they put on a proprietary motherboard here. Um, it does have a slot for a dedicated graphics card, which is what we'll be putting in right there. Uh, hopefully everything works. Um, it does look like it has integrated Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool. That's a LAN card right there. So hopefully that works. Um, we have SATA ports for a, um, a hard drive, which obviously look right here, no hard drive, but I do have a fix for that. I'll show you in a second. Um, yep, there's the extra SATA ports right there. And the guy said this PSU did not come with a six pin power connector. Uh, so that would be like the first limitation to adding just a you know more performance type graphics card You're not gonna be able to do that in this system because uh, you need a six pin power connector Obviously you could do like a Molex adapter, um, but I don't even know like or a SATA to Molex to whatever um, But honestly, you're you're literally playing with fire at that point. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, luckily this one here doesn't require a six pin so we should be fine uh, Just in case you know unless we're drawing too much power already um, DVD drive right here, obviously, I don't even, we're not even gonna need it. No, no one needs those anymore. So, yep, uh, got an 80 millimeter fan right here to help with cooling in the front, nothing. So that's great, so airflow is probably terrible. And then right here, obviously, we got one stick of DDR3, uh, that is four gigs running at 1600 megahertz. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. It's pretty much a basic board. Um, gosh, you can actually see, look at this, you can see the freaking, one of the chips right here is just exposed. There's like this these boards have like nothing on it, which is that's pretty crazy So like I said, we need to find ourselves a hard drive for this because we currently don't have one But we need to put Windows on this and try to upgrade it to Windows 10 uh, That'll be like kind of the goal of today's video So let's go check out my bins down here because I've had if I remember right. I've had these Hard drives in here for the longest time, unless I got rid of them. I don't I hope I didn't Okay, so we just got back from Recycle Techs again, and I got myself a 500 gigabyte uh, Western Digital uh, Caviar Black and a power cord because I realized I didn't have one of those either. So yeah, forgot a couple things, but luckily the store was still open and they're right on the street from where I live. So uh, yeah, lucky me. And uh, yeah, so I think um, the next step really, I, I think I just need to clean this thing up a bit. Um, I honestly might even take off this right here and uh, reapply some thermal paste like I uh, did in the last video and uh, clean this whole cooler off and everything like that and try to just get it a little bit more, you know, there is dust everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so here we go, we got the uh, heat sink off and as you can see, uh, it's the, the thermal paste is literally just dried. Like, it's not even, it's like there's a bit right here, but it's just cake dried. There's nothing there. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this because older PCs like this, the thermal paste is basically just hardened right now. You can see down here, you can see our processor right there. There is literally no thermal paste on it. So uh, I'll do a quick cleanup of it uh, like we did in my last video, but uh, that's pretty much all I gotta do is just kind of quickly clean the surface because all the thermal paste is on the heatsink itself. So this is gonna be hard to get off. So uh, that'll be the first thing I gotta do is figure out how to get this off. Thermal compound. This is super overkill for this because this is like really good stuff, but whatever. We're gonna use it anyway. 
Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit right there in the middle. That should be good. And then let's get our heat sink back on. So the funny thing guys about what I told you guys about that guy that brought this in and just basically gave this away for free was uh, that this thing still even has the mounting system that has like the standoffs that like bottom out and don't let you over tighten them. So like, that's a, that should tell you like how like, you know, how much technology this already has in it and how new this is. It's, it's not anywhere near what that guy was talking about and like trying to say that it was like so old you can't use it. Uh, it's just funny to me that some people think that like, you know, what I mean like your your OS is old So the computers old. it's just so funny uh, Educate yourself guys. You can really make stuff like this work if you really try so that's why we're doing this All right, so as far as the dust inside of here I'm just gonna go ahead and use my vacuum because I got this little extendo head right here I'm just gonna put it in here and try to suck out as much as I can So we have our config right here. We got our CPU cleaned up and everything like that. We got a hard drive, we got extra RAM, we have a graphics card. So uh, let's take it over to the computer desk over there, hook it up to a monitor and uh, see if this thing works. All right guys, so moment of truth time. It looks like there is a green light on the back of the PC. So that means it is getting power to it. So that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to boot up. Ooh, that is a good sign. Things are coming on, fans are spinning. The hard drive just spun. Okay, there we go, guys. We actually got the splash screen. Uh, I'm sorry, it was the camera's having trouble focusing there. Uh, but yeah, we have a flat, a splash screen, and uh, yeah, it says reboot select boot device. So that means that the graphics card is working, everything else is working, and uh, yeah. Okay guys, so getting into Windows 10 here, it's all just, uh, downloaded and ready to go. It looks like we have our i5-3450 running stable right now, and both sticks of RAM, 8 gigabytes, they're both in there, uh, so we're looking good. So yeah, we got everything going on, and uh, everything's working so far. Um, so I think I just need to download some drivers and all that, and uh, start you know, kind of getting to testing and all that kind of stuff and see what this thing can really do. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be it for that one. Uh, I'm very stoked that we were able to just kind of go on a sporadic, you know, PC parts hunt, and we actually came out successful. I uh, had no expectations of this video. I honestly just tried to go out there and see what we could get uh, in the city. And uh, I actually was trying to make a video just like this last week and it did not work out. I started making the video and went to a couple places and I honestly just struck out. But uh, today was my lucky day, I guess. I got something that actually was usable and something that I wanted was in the price bracket that I wanted to pay. And by the way, I didn't even tell you guys yet. So that Dell Vostro with the, uh, the i5-3450 in it, uh, that cost me about 80, 70, 80 bucks uh, from this store that I bought it from. And then the hard drive, the guy actually gave it to me for 15 bucks. And then the 
graphics card was 15 bucks as well. So just a little over $100. Oh, by the way, that stick of RAM, he kind of threw that in there for free. He didn't really charge me for it. So uh, yeah, so little over $100, you guys. And I have an awesome working PC right there. Everything looks awesome. And Windows 10 runs great so far. So what am I gonna do with this thing? I am going to go ahead and do a couple scientific videos with it and see what a super low end graphics card like that does. And then of course, after that, we're gonna tinker with it more. We're probably gonna have to upgrade the power supply and then we're gonna upgrade the graphics card and we're gonna show you that with a four core CPU and a you know nice mid-range graphics card, that's really all you need to game these days. You can do a whole lot more with it as well. So if you guys enjoy content like this and you guys like this video, please give it a like. Let me know what you guys also wanna see next in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and I wanna hear more. And if you guys really do enjoy my content and you guys wanna see more and stay updated, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, turn those notifications on so you'll be notified on my next video as soon as it comes out. But until then, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this computer more and I'll see you later. Bye.